on as a nation when we have been struck by hard times, whether it's been war or depression, we have stood together, we've helped one another, we've reached out to one another, and we're really proud of it, it's what we do well. And these rallies around the country are showing me and showing the whole community and hopefully showing others in the political process that Australians want to feel proud about our country and Kevin Rudd and Tony Abbott are shaming us as a nation yeah. and as a that this is the country that he's taking, this is the direction that he's taking the country in and Tony Abbott is obviously with him in that direction. Well I can say on behalf of everyone here and people who've marched around the country, it might be the direction that they're going in, but they're not taking us with them. Yeah. We're going in the other direction and it's, it's often, it's worthwhile being inspired by historical context. And if you think of the height of the civil rights movement and Martin Luther King and people fighting for civil rights in the United States had to listen to the same awful kinds of speak that we're hearing here at the moment. And Martin Luther King said at that time, cowardice asks, is it safe? Vanity asks, is it popular? Expedience asks, is it politic? But conscience asks, is it right? And it is not right. It is not right. What we are seeing, what we're seeing from Kevin Rudd and Tony Abbott is vanity, cowardice, expedience, but it is not right because it is never right to be extremely cruel to other human beings, to persecute people even further after they're running from persecution. That is wrong, that is not what we stand for, and they don't speak for us when they do that. And they don't speak. They don't speak to the Human Rights Commission, which has come out in the last few days and said at Manus Island that they have significant concerns about this new change of policy in Australia. They have significant concerns at a humanitarian level, at a legal level. They are, there is no doubt this will be challenged in the courts and rightly so because there is no way that we can uphold our obligations under the convention and have people be offered safe and permanent resettlement in New Guinea. We're talking about a country which is a very poor country, a neighbouring country of ours. We are number two in Australia in the World Development Index. Papua New Guinea is 156 out of a possible 186. We are taking advantage of our poor, one of our poor neighbours and it is a disgrace and it shames us not only nationally but globally. And Tony Burke has come back today and said of Manus Island that it will go ahead and that the resolve of the Australian Government will not be broken. Well, what his, what his resolve means is he is prepared to break the spirit of refugees. Well, we have to stand with them so that their spirits are not broken. We will not let them break their spirit. We have to stand with people. Stand strong with people and recognise, as the former head of the defence, uh, Chris Barry, has said today, refugees are not our enemies. There is no border security crisis. These are people who have the same aspirations as we do. They want a safe and good life. They want to contribute to this country. They've got children and brothers and sisters and parents and families just like us. They hurt just like us. Their mental health is damaged just like us when people are cruel to them. And we cannot, we cannot allow this kind of inhumanity to be done in the names of the Australian community and that's why we have to stand up strongly and say they don't speak for us but the people who speak for us say this if you want to stop people getting on boats then you offer people a safe pathway to our country a safe pathway you don't you don't offer them in camps you don't leave them there with no hope so that they think that that's the only option for them. We have to offer them a safe pathway and, the, and as the Houston panel said, we need to take the 3,800 people from camps 
in Indonesia and Malaysia to take the pressure off those camps and give people hope. And that is the first thing you would do if you were serious about looking after people seeking asylum. The second thing you do is not, not waste millions as the government is doing. Kevin Wright called it a cancer on democracy to waste millions in political advertising and that's precisely what he's doing with his full page ads in the papers. You would use that money to pour it into the UNHCR assessment facilities in Indonesia so people are processed more quickly. That's what we need to do. We need to help people. But the other thing we need to do is recognise all this talk about border security in a crisis is just talk. The fact is, People are going to run from persecution around the world, that there are horrendous circumstances in Iran. There are horrendous circumstances in Sri Lanka, in Afghanistan, in Pakistan. The minorities are being persecuted. That is our reality. And in fact, I called in the federal parliament for Australia to boycott Chogham in Sri Lanka because we ought to be saying to the Sri Lankan the right of action, we need to fix the human rights situation there. If you want to stop people running, you have to fix those human rights situations around the world. So, our job now is to keep up this fight. I don't think either Kevin Rudd or Tony Abbott expected the Australian community to respond as we all have. But that means they don't have the same faith in the community as the Greens do. I know that Australian people are decent, humane people who remember the regional solution that came after the Vietnam War and who recognise that we've had wave after wave of refugees in this country who've made a fantastic contribution, made us a richer, better country. And if we, if we do as we say we do and love our country and love the fact that we, we give people a fair go and that we're decent people, well, let's keep on marching until we change the policy program of both the old parties because it is cheap politics ahead of an election at the expense of real people just like us. And we cannot allow that kind of cruelty to define who we are. We are better than that. Let's show them we are a lot better than that as the people of this country. Thank you.